welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling arise so i've recently started making videos going over the best build for characters the best team the well obviously best artifacts best team the skill priority as well for the individual ssr characters in the game last time i made the video for troy today we're going to be taking a look at being gong um Byung Gu. now if you guys want to see the best build for troy go ahead and watch my previous video but let's go ahead and focus on being bong Gu. to be honest it's actually a lot easier to build simply because he's a support characters and there's a like designated build for support units because you don't need to focus on them dealing damage you just need to make sure that they can actually buff up your team and uh, taking a look at the kits and whatnot you can see what type of build would be best for him so hopefully you guys like this video stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arise if you guys don't want to miss out on future build uh build videos make sure you are subscribed to the channel the next character we're going to be taking a look at is probably going to be lim tegu so or gyo so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel but i should be able to go through every single ssr character now i previously again made a video going over like a one video just going over summarizing every single best build and now this is an updated one hopefully that uh take a look at each individual characters just to make sure that i got the best build for you guys because i think i made slight mistakes in the previous videos when i did an overall general gist on the best build but um it's still useful for you guys to check it out but anyways let's go ahead and take a look at me and bronq don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and click the like button let's go ahead and get 60 likes in today's video that's our new like goal actually it's always been our like goal but 60 likes every single video let's go ahead and you know smash this in today's video so first of all we're going to take a look at what he does essentially okay cha hain is coming out soon he is going to be the best teammate for Char Hain because, well, based on leaks, we know she revolves around crit rate and crit damage. So that's perfect because he does that plus heal and uh, it's really, really good and useful. So if you take a look at his skill, uh, he's a light type character. So is Char Hain as well, um, just based on leaks. Um, so if you look at his skills over here with his first basic skill, he basically recovers HP and uh, if the user is in disguise, the recovery rate is increased by 100%, which is really good. Next skill over here is uh, applies this punishment effect, which is the enemy's damage taken is increased by 5% which obviously 5% isn't a lot but don't worry there is a way to actually increase this as you can see over here when the user is in disguise or is disguised the punishment effect is increased to 15% so from 5% to 15% this is a really really nice buff now his support skill which is something you're going to be using a lot because if you're going through chapter stories or story uh, you guys are going to be using him paired with uh, Song Jun Woo just to recover his HP and he also has the ability to also inflict uh, punishment here as well um, the yeah so yeah 15% from here and then if you take a look at his QTE, it deals light damage and when the skill is used, the user's power gauge recharges by 5%, which is very useful. And uh, next up, we have his ultimate skill, which is very, very important and will be important for Char Hain, which essentially it just buffs up your crit rate and crit damage. The user's damage dealt and crit crit hit rate is increased by 12%. This is a really, really good buff. And then for the crit to damage, the user's crit hit damage increased equal to 40% of the amount that exceeds Mimbriok Goo's basic crit hit damage as well. Um, that exceeds... Oh, you can okay anyways going over to his build it's really straightforward this is it over here really straightforward you want to alt as frequently as possible and it's actually really easy especially with the current weapon i have on him um this weapon over here as you can see your power gauge acquisition rate is increased by 28 percent so this is really good you can also use this stuff as well which is when using a qte your power gauge is charged by nine percent but this is only going to be useful if you're going in hunter only stages but this one on the left is generally useful everywhere and it's really really good because you definitely want to alt as frequently as possible now you can also equip this gear over here which is your power gauge acquisition rate is increased by 20 percent and when the battle starts your charge power gauge is increased by 50 percent and additionally increases the players and the party's power acquisition rate by 20 percent since he is a support character you don't need to focus on this dps so essentially having supportive ability that helps the team in general is really really good so for the left side this is one of the best ones for him now technically if you guys have 
this weapon on him so your acquisition rates it's really good i guess technically you could build this it's a terrible idea because you don't really care for the ultimate skill damage however if you really wanted to build this you're really focusing on this part over here which says decreases the ultimate skill cooldown by 40 percent which is really really good um, especially for him you want to be able to rapidly spam his um, ultimate uh, so therefore having that would be really really good especially if you have other teammates that also are equipped with this gear over here you can technically i don't know if it's the best because you the first set of buff isn't really helpful for him you could technically go with this one so that you can have uh, less cooldown on your ultimates it's a viable build uh, but i'm not sure how fantastically well it would run since the first two set isn't going to be helpful now another build you could run is the hp one but this is only a build you'd run to increase your healing by 8% technically um, because your user's um, HP is increased by 8% and his healing is scaled off of his um, HP. But the full set actually has the ability to buff up the team as well because it decreases the user's attack by 8% but increases the team's member's attack by 8%. So this is a flat 8% increase. However, obviously this destroyer set is better simply because you do get an increased power acquisition rate which is going to be generally helpful for every team member. And as a support character, that is essentially good. The second one that's really good for him or the second half of the artifact is this one over here. Now, this one just helps with... Um, the at or attack so it's only if you guys have um units that scales off attack will you find this beneficial um but let's take a look at it well when tagging, tagging out increases the attack of you and your team member by 12 percent for 10 seconds that is very useful uh full set increases the attack um if increase effect to 28 percent so he's able to increase your attack um stat by 28 percent which is really really good and the duration has been changed to 15 seconds which is really really good like i mentioned so unfortunately right now we don't have many characters that scales off attack that are oh yeah actually in general yeah we don't have that many people that scales off attack we have Lee Tim Gu, we have Choi, and we also have this character but i believe char hain should also scale off attack so honestly this is the build you should prepare for char hain if you do have this character and you're hoping to pull char hain as well this is also a good build for generally right now but not every character will benefit from this over here because not every character scales off of attack um, but this is generally one of the best supportive build you can go with is there a different one you could go with let's see this is not useful nope nope oh, yeah actually yeah that's literally it that's that's all you can build them with to be honest and this is really straightforward for most support characters this is technically what it's going to be like um so yeah and then when it comes to skill priority don't make the mistake i did don't don't level this up i thought it was going to level up the percentage of his heals but it doesn't it just increases the percentage of his damage which is going to be bad anyway so this sucks so don't do that don't upgrade it you don't even need don't upgrade a special skill a support skill sorry don't do that it's terrible what you should upgrade is this one which increases the healing amount though so that's very useful um let me take a look at this one actually let's see does this increase anything um no this increases damage as well once again don't level this up uh when you take a look at qte five percent does this increase nope don't level this up as well pretty easy actually when it comes to what you need to level up and whatnot um yeah don't level this up as well so pretty much only needs to level up one of his skill which is this one literally that that's it so there we go for skill priority and when it comes for weapons you can go for this weapon as well i find it very very useful it's one of the best hp scaling weapons we have uh for sr if i go over to his crafting so take a look at his own specific weapon i hope it's some support ability because yeah it's not he's not a dps so increase the user's hp per by zero percent what the hell that's nothing maybe this is maybe this is a bug by the way anyways when the user uses heavenly blessing the users and team members damage dealt increases by four percent for 16 seconds only four four percent okay max 16 seconds so technically the sr weapons in general are face value honestly they suck honestly a face value just like looking at it the percentage increase sucks especially when you take a look at the sr weapons that you can level up a lot it just sucks because like i'd rather take the power acquisition by 24 percent compared to just a flat four percent increase in my damage dealt that is pretty shit that's pretty crap honestly but if you take a look at when it's maxed 
it's really really good so honestly you don't even need the ssr weapons especially early on this is something you would focus on to just get dupes so honestly if i was to get a new ssr weapon i would just focus on dupes for my ammo uh, let me see so this is how it is initially four percent max out twelve percent yeah i'd rather max it out honestly i'd rather max it out uh so yeah there we go for the build the best build for min byung good really simple build honestly really really simple build really good character to be honest if i get co i will probably replace him because his heals essentially isn't like insane it's not insane amount of heals it's just good heals so like if you're nearly dying this will be very helpful but i think a shield is honestly better i think the shield we have in game if we have co if you have co plus the gear you can give her to increase the shielding is just better than the heals he gives him so if i was to like do like a tier list like for important character emma first choice second co next then a main bronco then followed by either beck or limb that's that's pretty much it so i i prefer her shield more than his heals heals because in general the healing it does isn't that great what you are taking a look at is the damage buff he gives you which is going to be good and useful for char hain so yes he is a good character and anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arise if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe also take a look at blessings as well actually let's see something blessings that could be helpful for him um it just needs a buff no, no nothing really to be honest maybe hp scaling blessing but like do you really need that? I'm not sure. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been your boy AC Gamer, and I'm out.